What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecoli Espresso and welcome back to another Call of Duty 2017 video here today on the channel. Right now we're in February, we're drawing closer to leak, tease, and reveal season, but we're also in that awkward phase where it's a little bit too early. And it's true here and there that every so often we do get some information from industry insiders like Shinobi602 and others earlier than intended reveal dates, but today we're going to be discussing an image that popped up almost out of nowhere it seems like, without any credibility just kind of popped up. But it's taken Reddit and Twitter by storm, and that is a supposed reveal image for COD 2017. Now, I don't mean this in the way of a reveal image, like this is something that designates the exact name, title, setting, all that good stuff for COD 2017, but instead is one of those things that's like, get hyped, the reveal is going to happen at this particular date. So with that said, we're going to be taking a look at this here today, breaking it down a little bit for you guys, and giving my honest thoughts and feedback here on this. So we're going to take it to the approach of similar like a course case, something where it's innocent until proven guilty, and that whole shebang with this as well. So let's just jump right into it here because there's a lot to talk about, a lot that I can give my feedback and opinion on as somebody that loves to break down things and debunk things. Let's talk about it. Firstly, the image itself, whoever crafted this is a lot smarter than other air quote leakers, I'll put it that way. There's some great qualities that make this look plausible at first glance, but as with others, there's some fatal errors that totally kill this. But regardless, let's talk about this and discuss it a little bit. If you want to follow along, I'll leave the link down there in the description below to the actual image, but I won't put it up on a screen for the rare chance that this somehow is legit. I personally don't think so, but if you want to check it out, feel free to do so. That link is down there in the description below. But the image itself, the first thing you might notice, this is something that I immediately caught on to, is that this looks nearly identical to that of Advanced Warfare's promotional material. The image that announced the reveal date, this looks near identical. For those that don't know what this looked like, I'll toss it up on screen right now just to jog your memory a bit, but as you can see it, you can visualize it and compare it to what's in the description. I think you'll see my point here with this. Now, of course, sure, there could be some parallels on purpose, but to me, that's not enough immediately to say, you know what, no, this is fake. So. Let's talk about the timing of the announcement, however. For the promotional material that was revealed to showcase when a worldwide reveal would be coming for the then-unknown title of Advanced Warfare, the promo art was a part of a site update to CallofDuty.com in which the update went live on May 1st of 2014. The reveal was listed as May 4th, only three days later. So, not a lot of prep time, but enough to let the hype set in and to get people excited for the next couple of days. If this were the real case for right now, this air quote leaked image, that would mean that we have an official announcement of a worldwide reveal almost two months beforehand. Once again, while this is possible, the first shred of information has never been an official reveal date. That just makes it all the more skeptical in my opinion. So the timing of this and the contents of our first piece of information it just doesn't add up to me. Now, next up on the chopping block is the logo. Now, it's very simple to produce a logo from what Call of Duty has made simply because the logo is so universally known that there's hardly any alterations to it that have been made since its conception. Sure, every year we have a few lines cut and pasted here and there to make sure that each is unique, but also not at the same time as possible. So what bothers me tremendously about this logo is the original and the quality. The original, I would perhaps put money on, is from the Advanced Warfare logo. No other logo in COD history has had the same curvature and harsh edges at some points as the Advanced Warfare logo does, comparing it to this one. Now, it sounds nitpicky and maybe a bit graphically nerdy, but it's the truth. Anyone who knows a bit of Photoshop also knows that it's not too hard to fill in spaces and cut others. So, to me, this is exactly what it looks like in my books. The cuts just do not look clean, and whereas others do comparing to other logos. They just look awkward, I guess that's the best way to put it. And sure, once again, that's a little bit picky, but here's another note. There's two ways that a logo could go of this nature. Either it's an Advanced Warfare 2 in which the logo is completely null and void in my opinion and is completely stupid to redo since if it's a continuation, it would warrant the continued use of the Advanced Warfare logo, similar to how Black Ops 2 and 3 have the same base COD logo and the subscript denoting Black Ops. Or it is an entirely different title in which the logo in question would be entirely too close to the identical Advanced Warfare one to pass marketing, QA, and all other teams involved with the public realm 
realms of the content. I don't know, it just seems too fishy to me. But further moving forward, the actual reveal date is what also catches my eye here also. Black Ops 3 was the earliest reveal that we ever had seen in COD history. That initial reveal date was April 9th, 2015, with the arrival of Black Ops 3's teaser trailer, and followed up then by an April 23rd arrival of the Embers teaser trailer. Others included a reveal of Infinite Warfare on May 2nd, Advanced Warfare on May 1st, following a leak that was intended to go later on, but it ended up being just in good sportsmanship revealed on the 1st. Ghost was on May 1st, Black Ops 2 was on May 1st, and I think you get the picture here. Now, the specific timing doesn't really throw me off because it's quite possible with the poor reception of Infinite Warfare, Activision may want to kick off the hype train a little bit earlier than ever, so perhaps why not? Let's release this reveal at the earliest time ever as well. Except, it doesn't follow one cardinal rule for Call of Duty. It doesn't fall within the work week. And I say that vaguely because Call of Duty reveals and releases often happen on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but there are instances of Monday, Wednesday, and Friday reveals and releases for specific content, but the image in question would have it that the reveal for COD 2017 would be a Saturday. Now I get the gamers are off on the weekend, but you also have to remember game developers and publishers run on a standard work week for the most part. Sure, there's work that happens and people in the offices perhaps on the weekend, but not the full manpower to work an entire reveal event. So unless Call of Duty drops a massive bomb on absolutely everything we know about reveals and teasers and things like this, I just don't see this one happening. And finally, let's talk about the actual logo and some discrediting factors of the image itself. As we mentioned, the logo to me just looks like a sloppy cut and paste of the Advanced Warfare logo, and while that may be something that I guess could be legit, it just doesn't have me convinced. And perhaps the biggest thing to me though, as somebody who studied design, who's self-diagnosed with OCD in some aspects, especially when it comes to design, the logo has one flaw that would never leave a raw Illustrator or Photoshop file. The text is off-center. Now I'm not talking about off-center as in the whole canvas because the logo is, but Subsidiary text above and below the logo is off-center with the actual logo, which in design is a huge no-no. Designers in particular are incredibly meticulous with this sort of thing, and as a marketing team and whatever other pass-throughs there are that this has to go through, whatever team at a billion dollar publisher, they're gonna make sure that everything is perfect, and some off-centering here of this, that's just not gonna fly. This is sort of like a pop artist in the music industry releasing a single expected to be a top 10 hit, but without any auto-tune or things being completely off time. Point being, it just doesn't happen. Additionally, some other things to note is that it seems to be an in-game development software in the background here. Now, there's not a whole lot shown to see exactly what everything is or to do all that much of thorough detective work, but if I were to search around best, I believe that this program looks relatively similar to that of Unity 3D, but again, I could be wrong and there's not all that much to go off of. The texture behind the logo and the things on the actual image canvas, though, also looks like it's a stock image of a bare tree and some forestry in the background, but also underneath it, but also below the file in question, it looks to be what is a low res image of some forest textures, almost like that of what you would see outside of the map where textures are there for distant viewing, but not up close and personal. And for those of you guys that have ever played out of the maps in modded lobbies back in Modern Warfare 2 or anything, you know exactly what I mean probably. Another side note, this actually initially reminded me of the hill by the creek on Prison Break in Ghosts, but I honestly doubt that that's where the textures are from because even Ghosts had better looking textures from there. But as for the quality, and I guess you could argue with the image in the background, this texture file, I guess you could argue that it could be a beta or an alpha texture, but I assure you that a game in development for nearly three years has those things down pat by now. But all in all, that is my conclusion here with this. That's my breakdown of this image that's just seemingly popped up out of nowhere once again. It's not even like a credible source like Shinobi602 or anybody else in the industry came up with this. It just popped up out of nowhere. So that little red flag caught my attention and got me to look at this. And I think that it's something that is well done. I'll give it respect for that, that it's something that is at first glance pretty impressive and something that you might just throw off as, wow, this might actually be legit. But for this, I'm gonna refer back once again to our court case analogy. There's not enough evidence here to convince me personally that this is legit, but more so there's enough to make me skeptical and perhaps persuade me into a shadow of doubt and for a necessary innocent ruling in this case, as the analogy will go, there needs to be no shadow of doubt present for this to be something that I can call 
legit in this case. So to me, this is just something that isn't conclusive enough. It rides the hype train and it looks good, but there's just too much that does not seal the deal for me here and leads me to believe that this is just something Photoshop that came up out of the blue. So that's where I'm gonna turn it over to you. What do you guys think here of this image? Do you guys think it's something that could be legit? Do you guys want it to be legit? And whatever it may be, feel free to drop your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, thank you guys so much for making it this far. Drop a like down below if you guys would be so kind. Really let us help the video out. And if you guys wanna stay up to date with everything, Call of Duty 2017, Black Ops 3, Modern Warfare Mastered, Infinite Warfare, all that good stuff relating to Call of Duty. Make you hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with everything we do here up on the channel we got you covered with all that good stuff and if you guys want to follow me over on twitter that is the best place to get connected with me here outside of youtube but practically live on twitter so if you guys want to strike up a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be feel free to drop a follow down there on that link in the description but finally if you guys want to check out either the two videos on screen right now those will take you to the head of xbox himself phil spencer talking about the black ops 2 backwards compatibility rumor and one will take you to the possible remasters of ascension and origins and Black Ops 3. So if either of those interest you, click those links on screen right now. But thank you dudes so much for watching. My name is Nicolai Espresso. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Take care and peace.